hope everyone's well. Today I'm going to share chicken and mutter salin or chicken and peas salin I'm going to make. I've got some oil heating up. I'm going to put one teaspoon of cumin seeds, one stick of cinnamon and one bay leaf, four to five cloves. Just let this cook for a couple of seconds and then I'm going to add two finely chopped onions. I'm going to add that. I'm going to cook this on a high heat. I want to go, I want the onions to go nice and golden brown. And then we're going to add the next ingredient. The onions are cooking. I'm going to just whisk these up. Half a tin of tomatoes. I'm going to add here. So that's about two and a half tomatoes and some juice that goes in there. And also in this, I'm going to add some ginger. Just cut it into small pieces and about eight cloves of garlic. And I'm going to blend this up and add it to add it to the onions when they're nice and golden brown. So the onions are nice and golden brown. That's how we want them. Just put this mixture that I blend it together with the garlic, ginger, and tomato. Just put some water in here so you don't waste any of the masala. I'm also going to add to the sauce and bowl. Let's give it a stir. I'm just going to add a teaspoon and a half of salt. I'm going to cook this for about 2-3 minutes. And then we'll add the next ingredient. I'm going to add red chilli powder. This is Kashmiri chilli powder. And you can use paprika powder and some turmeric. Now we're going to cook this on a high heat until all the water has evaporated and the, the oils come on top and then we're going to add the chicken next. So the masala is ready as you can see all the oils come on top. And then we're going to add the chicken which I have cleaned and washed and drained thoroughly. Add that and give it a good mix. And now on a high heat we're going to cook this for a good 20 to 25 minutes. Well, I'm just going to add a few more ingredients. I've got some coriander powder. Add that in there. And then this cumin powder. That's, up. That's it at the moment with the ingredients. I'm just going to give this a good stir and keep on stirring this and cook it until the chicken is nice and tender so I've been I covered this and cooked it as you can see it's released its own liquid you don't need to add any more water to this now we're gonna cook it on a high flame until all the va water has evaporated as you see there's quite a bit in there and then the chicken will be fully cooked and then we we'll add the peas to this this is Nicely cooked now. All the oils come on the surface and the water has dried up. I'm going to add two cups of these are frozen frozen peas. I've just thawed them and rinsed them out. I'll just put the flame on the low because it was splattering everywhere. And now also I'm going to add three green chilies. I'm just going to cut them into twos. going to turn it up to a medium heat now and cook the peas and the chicken for about 10 minutes together. I'm also going to add some fresh coriander that I'm going to cut inside there. I'll give that a good mix. As I said, for 10 minutes, the peas and the chicken are going to be cooked together so the peas take all the taste of the masala. I'm going to cook the chicken and the peas together for about 10 minutes so they take the flavor of the masala, peas. 
and then we'll add a tiny bit of water to this to make a nice masala to eat with naan. You could eat it with boiled rice or you can have it with naan and roti. Totally up to you. As you can see, the peas are like cooked now. You can see the difference when I put them in and now. I'm just going to add one cup of water. That's all the gravy I want. You could add more or you could just completely leave it out and just put garam masala and a bit of coriander and that that's done. I'm just going to bring this to a boil and then put it on a low heat and cook it for about five minutes. It is ready now. I'm just going to put some garam masala on there and some coriander. This is ready to serve now. And that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to mix some chapatis with this. I'm not show you how I make my tandoor roti at home. So I purchased this electric tandoor. It's really good to make tandoori rotis on. Just going to put it on top of the gas. This is hot plate and then we're going to transfer the chapati in here. So let it cook on the bottom and then we're going to transfer it in there. When the roti, as you can see, or the chapati can, this it gets transparent, just add some water to this. Not too much, just lightly all the way around. So what we're going to do now, I'm just going to put this inside here. And close the lid but this is going to cook really quick so keep an eye on it through the glass as you can see the bubbles are already appearing on top of the roti make sure you just move it around slightly because you don't want it to burn on the inside close it again guys it's bubbling up nicely that means it's cooking and we just want it to go brown on top now slightly brown getting brown so i'm just gonna make sure it gets brown all the way around that is cooking i'm gonna put another one on top just, that's it there you go guys this side is completely done i'm just gonna turn it over and just cook on that side i'm just gonna add some more water on this one Whilst also keeping an eye on the one that's inside. As you can see, it's browning up nicely. Guys, our roti is ready. As you can see, lovely and crispy. Beautiful. So there you go, guys. Our delicious chicken and pea curry and with tandoori chapatis. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a like and Put on the notification bell so every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Please like, subscribe, and tell your family and friends. I'll see you soon. Allah.